is going on guys i studio is here for another cinema 4d tutorial today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the rust shader um to make some cool imperfection maps on your map materials so um yeah let's get started um first i'm going to double click down here in the material manager to make a new material i'm gonna um rename this actually we'll open it up first and we'll call this material um rusty metal but you can call it of course whatever you want it really doesn't matter okay um first in the color uh, I'm going to set this color to, well, we'll set it to white for now and we'll change it later. Okay, so we're going to add reflectance, we're going to add GGX reflection, set the attuation to metal, and the reflection strength to 50, the specular strength to 0. <clears throat> okay, the actual roughness itself, we're going to bring that up to 100, and add the texture. Now this is the point where we actually add a, um, a rust shader. So go to surfaces, and um, right in the middle here, rust. <clears throat> so, um, boom, we can just open that up, and I'll explain to you what um, this actually does. So, first, we're going to open the preview in a new window, and I'm going to use GI Sphere. <clears throat> so, just like that. Um, now, the actual shader itself, the rust percent, <clears throat> that's just how much percent of the actual thing will be rust. So, in this case, um, rust is the what, what, the com what the computer or the shader treats as quote-unquote rust, is areas with um, no um, with no roughness or very little roughness. So if you want to um, change that, you'd probably have to invert knots. Let's see here. There we go. If you wanted now, the rust percent will directly control the amount of the image that is um, rusted. And the less rust you have, the more parts of the image or the more parts of the shader that will be um, reflective less amount of rust. So uh, I'm going to set this rust to 50% because uh, I want that. <clears throat> so um, the frequency, and we'll look at that now. Frequency is kind of like a scale factor, I want to say, um, where if we bring it up, you can see here it'll kind of scale it, or I mean, sorry, the bigger it is, um, the bigger this frequency is, um, the smaller or more fine, I guess, the um, the rust will be. And, and you can just see here, the bigger it is, it's like like that and if I scale it up lots um, scale it up lots it'll be really like just kind of zoomed in or scaled down or whatever so bring it up let's um, zoom out and bring it and bring it um, bring it down we'll kind of zoom in okay so we're gonna leave our frequency at about one sure um, uh, actually wait can I change it uh, I kind of want just like that I think that'll be good 0 0.9 okay i'm gonna bring up the actual rust percent to like 53 percent um yeah just like that i'll be good okay so that's that shader um that's the rust shader now you may want to do more okay so you can see here um on the areas where there is no rust um on the areas where there's no rust, yeah on the area where there's no rust um you can see it's perfect reflections there's no um roughness in that area now let's say you want to have a bit of roughness here though to make it obviously more believable um, metal material and then you have the rust over the metal material what you're going to have to do to do that is, um, in the texture here, use a, uh, it's called a fusion. Um, we're going to open that up, and you'll immediately see it disappear, but don't worry, we're just going to um, change that. So uh, open up your, uh, obviously, your um, shader here, your fusion shader, and you should see here the base channel, our rust shader, and the blend channel, we're just going to use a color. And the blend percent, we're going to set the blend to 10%. And uh, in here, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all you need to do. This color can just be completely white, and that's all you need to do. Now we have a bit of roughness there, as you can see. I'm still a bit rough there, but more rough here. So, you may be wondering, um, why is it? Why does it look kind of noisy? Why does it look kind of grainy here? Um, how can you fix that? Well, you can do that by going to your layer sampling and increasing the sampling subdivisions. Now, I warn you, this will increase your render time, so... A reasonable balance between render time and if this is your final render of course a reasonable balance between render time and um, quality is um, six subdivisions six or seven subdivisions uh, I think are pretty good so I usually use seven for my final render and then I use about five four or five to my for four to five for my um like test renders right actually we may bring up the blur on the rust there make the edges less harsh here see yeah a bit less harsh 
Um, so that's that. Uh, oh, actually, one last thing. Right, we're going to change the color of it. So if you want a bit of a tint, uh, I shall check in my reflectance. Yeah, we got the intuition to metal. So if you want to tint your uh, metal material a bit with some color, uh, you can actually do so through the color channel because our intuition is set to metal. Um, otherwise, you couldn't do this if you had like average intuition. But if you have um, metal intuition, you can actually change the tint a bit. So we're going to use a red. So here, if I use a red, it'll take a while. <laughs> Sorry, um, but you can see here it'll, it'll be a bit of a red, more red, and I'm gonna use a really dark red here, just a tint of dark red. See how's that look? Yeah, so that should be good. Just very subtle dark red. Okay, and in the actual reflectance channel, also of course you can um, actually change the color of your reflection slightly if you want. You can do a um. Color reflection just like that. Um, that'll give you a really dark one. Maybe change the layer color brightness. Uh, actually, no. No, never mind. Never mind. What am I saying? Um, this isn't working. I have no idea what I'm saying here. We'll add a bit of a uh, red just like that. And now we've got kind of like a pink material. Anyway, I'm just kind of going off on a tangent here. This doesn't really matter. Um, this is just how you can kind of tint your metal material. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply this to our um, material. There we go. Um, and I think that's that. Uh, we may be able to go to our seamless here in the UV mapping, enable that, because you can see we've got a harsh line here. Um, actually, that doesn't seem to help it, does it? Let's see. Let's give this a test render. Let's see how it looks. Well, looks pretty good. Um, now, obviously, rust has to be used in the correct context, so you can't just add rust to any metal material and expect it to immediately improve your scene. Um, you have to know when to use it, when the material would actually realistically be rusty, but, you know, uh, this is a tip for those scenarios when you do want rust on your material. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe.